This is our first example in 4.2 day one where we are going to actually find some trig ratios given a right triangle. Here's the right triangle that we have. Now you'll notice in this right triangle that we've got 8 and 11 but we don't have this other side here. First of all it's probably a good idea to label what we have so far. If this is theta, 11 is going to be our hypotenuse, 8 is going to be our adjacent, and we're looking for the opposite over here. All right, now let's find out what that opposite is going to be. We need to use the Pythagorean theorem since this is a right triangle. So we can go, uh, if we call that one just B, we call that side B, we'll say 8 squared plus B squared equals 11 squared. So 8 squared is 64, 11 squared is 121, we'll subtract the 64 to get b squared equals 57. Uh, when we square root both sides, this becomes kind of a nasty number. Uh, we just want to simplify this if possible. It, it really just simplifies to square root of 57. Now, usually we talk about you know doing plus minus when we take the square root of both sides, but we don't have to worry about it here because we are just doing a triangle and we all, we're only concerned with the positive value anyway. So we're gonna call this square root of 57. Now what we do is we go through and line up all the, the different pieces here. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse and so that will be square root of 57 over 11. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. That is 8 over 11. And then third one here, tangent, is opposite over adjacent. So that is square root of 57 divided by 8. All right, so I mentioned before that if you know sine, cosine, and tangent, then just flip them over for their appropriate ones for cosecant, secant, and cotangent. So I just lined them up straight across from the ones they're related to. So we take the reciprocal to get our cosecant, so that's 11 over square root of 57. And then secant is going to be 11 over 8, and cotangent is 8 over square root of 57. Now, you might be thinking something already that these this doesn't look right. Uh, you'd be correct in saying that because we technically need to simplify this. We can't have square roots in a denominator. So after we get that flipped, we do, in order to be completely correct, have to multiply both top and bottom by that square root number. So if we do that, and that's going to apply to both the cosecant or the cos both to the cosecant and the cotangent. We just express that as its most simplified form over here. So 8 squared of 57 over 57 for our cotangent and then here 11 squared of 57 over 57 for the cosecant. So uh, when all said and done we have our six ratios. We've got sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, secant, and cotangent.